all right what's up everybody so i'm not subscribed yet to nitro speed but uh i seen everybody uploading videos of their uh exposed their open engine vehicle challenge videos and uh since i have to uh pretty much make all my stuff again let's start with this one which I previously uploaded but this is my Johnny Lightning uh, George Barris ice cream truck Model T Ford this thing is pretty cool I think this was an anniversary model from uh, Johnny Lightning I think it's limited edition but uh, definitely got an exposed engine Looks more of a hot rod than a uh, ice cream truck, that's for sure. I like that you can see uh, the stuff inside of it. But yeah, more of a, a hot rod than an ice cream truck. 2019. I think I bought it a little later than that, but uh could be 2019, I'm not sure. This is a, a classic from my collection from when I was younger. Um, the Hot Wheels tea bucket. It's from 1988, and I don't know, all the uh, image search image searches I got say 1989. So I don't know. I don't really know if it's a uh, a really rare version or something about it can't remember all my stuff was wiped out so can't exactly tell you now yeah this is 1988 but uh i definitely think it's pretty cool and uh really classic in my collection this is my golf porsche 917 i don't know if it's kh or what exact letters it is for uh afterwards i've seen different variations of it i've seen some with some pretty cool looking wings and uh, winglets and fender wings on it but uh i got this in a uh like a three car set from hot wheels of uh i don't know if they're race vehicles or whatnot but uh, it was one of the box sets they had of premiums quite a while back. And I actually uh, still have the uh, the rubber bands that uh, went through the box for it. I just never removed them. But uh, yeah, it's a premium version. And uh, I like the Gulf delivery on it. You can see the uh, exposed engine on there. I think it's a sharp looking car. This is a Johnny Lightning. Now, I got two different dates on the bottom. It says 76 and 75 Chevy Camaro. But, uh, no hood, big motor. Um, two tone paint. Some mag looking wheels. But, yeah, I don't. 75 there. Oh, come on, camera. Really, dude? Yeah, 76 Chevy Camaro there. And it's printed in the metal. 75 there. From 99. I think I got this in clearance in, uh, at Walmart. I think after the holidays, it was in the clearance section, so I got it really cheap instead of a uh, expensive price. But uh, I like it. And it's a Camaro F body. This is my 1967 custom Firebird, and it's double custom because I did a wheel swap on it a while back. So I put some uh, M2 wheels on there, and uh, I have this in different different variations different colors but uh yeah big old motor showing out of there everything's all gold plated 
and I thought the uh, yellow letter wheels would look pretty nice with the uh, tempos and the gold color on there and then the chrome with the uh, silver paint but uh yeah pretty cool this is my bone shaker and uh i can't remember if i got this with a four x four or a, or a uh, monster truck vehicle that came with an extra car or uh how exactly i got it i know i did buy some uh mystery packs and i did wheel swaps on them also but yeah i uh i swapped the wheels off of this from m2 wheels i had from uh some extra m2 wheels i had and i thought the uh gold with the red stripes and the big rubber tires and uh awesome looking gold wheels would look perfect on it i think it does i think it looks pretty sharp i i love the uh the set of wheels i had for that they look so much better and it's in you know it's a bone shaker it's always awesome and it's got the closed roof which i like here is my premium twin mill i got and uh yeah i got a couple of these actually um i think it has the uh oh there we go thank you yeah it uh i think it was a special set or special vehicle for premiums that came out a while back ago not sure if he uses spectra flame paint or not not quite sure never had a red line in my life ever even though i'm getting up there in age but uh it is all metal metal body metal chassis and it says 69 2011 to 2014 so this casting's been around for quite ever and some time but uh it's got painted headlights on there but uh it is one of my favorite uh of the many favorites i got that are uh of the twin mill but uh i definitely love his blue and i love the tires and the wheels those rims are awesome but uh the setup on this and design is pretty pretty nice my uh maisto 1929 ford i think yeah 1929 ford this uh just a second i'll flip it over this one came with a uh like a hauler in a set and uh, I know somebody else I am subscribed to and watch said they uh, don't sell them anymore at their Walmarts. The uh, Maisto cars with haulers anymore. And I, I have bought a couple in the past. This is one of them. But uh, yeah, I haven't really actually noticed if they still sell them at my Walmarts or not. But uh, I like this design. And I think it's pretty sharp looking with all the tempos and the details and the color choices they used. And that uh, exposed engine. I mean, even the wheels look perfect with it. Well, if it would focus, even the wheels look perfect with it, with the gold and the white. Pretty sharp. I figured I'd throw this in in with my mix because it's a uh, I don't know a trike from Hot Wheels, and uh, you can see the uh, engine right there. It's a motorcycle. Or a trike, whatnot. But, uh, I have a few in my collection, and, uh, yeah, I figured, yeah, uh, there's an engine right there, so, uh, you know. There's the, uh, exhaust coming off it and everything. I don't know, I bought this some time back ago. Not too far back, but a couple years ago. Probably when I worked at Polaris. But, uh, yeah, I, uh, figured I'd add some cars to this, uh, challenge. <laughs> and, uh, you know, had to dig through some to find them. But, uh, 
If you like, please hit the like and, you know, subscribe if you want to subscribe to my uh, new channel I have to make. And uh, I hope you enjoyed my uh, exposed engine collection. Thanks for watching.